All right, back at this 2019 Honda Corolla. No, Honda Corolla, Toyota Corolla. And uh, so we're cycling, we're at maximum temperature. I'm actually testing for lowest temperature capability. So doors and windows are closed, it's in the shade. I wanna see where it's cutout position is. Now, as we see here, let's take a look at this. Watch this cut in and out. You see a cut out? Low pressure is going, uh, high pressure is going down. Low pressure is going up. Now keep watching it real carefully. The like the clutch is kicking in and out, in and out. See now it's going down. And now it's going up. Okay. Now you could see it. Now if you look down there, let's look at the clutch. Right there. You see the clutch spinning? There's no clutch. That is a variable displacement compressor without a clutch. Some of these have clutches, some of them do not. This one, the internal is spinning all the time. It never stops spinning. It's controlled by the valving. Whether it has the swash plate going full displacement or it brings it back to a neutral where it just spins without any swing. So what you're seeing here is the displacement changing inside the compressor. Engine RPM is not changing, a clutch is not kicking it out, it's all happening internally. You have to understand this. Okay, so we're getting to like the kick in and kick out of a clutch without a clutch. And another thing I want to talk to you about, front end accident, new parts on car, okay? When you put your hand here on the chassis, you feel a vibration when the AC kicks in and you see the pressure go down and pressure out, the fans spin up and you feel this vibration here. You feel the vibration on the steering wheel. You feel it when your uh, foot is on the foot pedal inside. If you put your hand on the gear shift knob, you can feel when the engine changes and there's this vibration. But what is this vibration caused by? Take a look at this. Let's see, can you see the fan wobbling? I don't know if you can see the fan wobble. Okay, now take a look at the fan. Let me try to get it on there. Okay, you see the fan? Now watch it when it stops. When the fan stops and the fan starts, you see that wobble? It has that little wobble to it. Okay. All right, I hope you can see the wobble. So, every time this starts up, because that fan is bent, it's not perfectly aligned, it's wobbling and it's transferring that vibration of the wobble of the fan into the chassis of the car and you can feel it inside now this is some customers never notice this and this is one of those things that can drive technicians crazy because if you're in a hot climate the air conditioning is on all the time anyway so he might not relate it to they might look at something in the engine but it's actually the air conditioning comes on kicks in and it demands cooling from the fan. The fan warms up and then it vibrates and you can feel it. So this is the kind of thing that can make a comeback. Um, all right, that's all. Just thought that was another piece of information where you guys may have had vibration problems in a car and it was caused by when the fan uh, the compressor calls for fan initialization and there's a slight wobble in the fan and it transfers that vibration through the sheet metal and you can feel it in the steering wheel, the gear shift knob and the foot where your foot is on the pedals. All right guys, I'll see you later.